A state official visited Morganton Wednesday to talk about a tax credit program. North Carolina Department of Cultural Resources Secretary Susan Klutz visited Morganton Wednesday, continuing her and Governor Pat McCrory's push to restore the state's historic preservation tax credits program. Klutz is asking North Carolinians to sign a petition supporting the program and to call their state senators and representatives as well and voice their support. Klutz discussed the renovation of the old Premier Hosiery Mill into the Morganton Trading Company, which was completed in 2007, the restoration of 100 to 108 North Sterling Street that originally housed Spake's Drug Store and is now Benjamin's, completed in 2011, and the current redevelopment of the old Drexel Plant No. 7, a.k.a. Alpine Mill. Morganton Mayor Mel Cohen said that the historic tax credits program has provided needed incentives for several projects in Morganton, and he said local leaders need to work to get the program restored. Klutz, Cohen, and other local leaders toured various facilities in Morganton during Wednesday's visit. They toured the Morganton Trading Company and the Alpine Mill before heading to the Broughton Hospital campus. The Alpine Mill project is the last in Morganton to take advantage of the historic tax credits. And without the tax credits, the old plant would most likely still be sitting dormant, succumbing to the elements. Before the program expired at the end of December, the state's Historic Preservation Tax Credits Program provided an incentive to developers in the form of a 20% state income tax credit for the qualifying rehabilitation of income-producing historic properties. Ten projects have been completed in Morganton using the tax credits for a total of $17.8 million of private investment in the community, but the Historic Tax Credits Program is about more than money, Klutz said. It's about the history of North Carolina. Klutz said that it is important to remember that this program is not a grant program and it doesn't require any money to be put up front by the state or local governments. Investors have to complete qualified projects according to the program rules and after they file taxes they can receive the credits. Historic preservation tax credits are only earned after a project is completed. Historic tax credits have been used in 90 out of North Carolina's 100 counties, both in rural and urban areas. To sign the petition supporting the renewal of the historic tax credits program, you can go to the website historictaxcredits.org. Reporting from Burke County for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood.